Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at another item I picked up at Emerald City Comic Con. This is the Munchkin Collectible Card Game, which is a brand new card game based on Munchkin. And you need to play it by itself. It's not going to work with the original game or any of the expansions. It's a whole new product. I picked this up. I think it was about four bucks a pack. They were nice enough to throw in a couple of promo cards here. Goldfish Wanderer and Ferris Oxide Monster, so you can get a kind of a feel for what those look like before we open it up. But I just picked up one of these to see what's going on. Uh, my uh, family and I are pretty big fans of playing Munchkin, so excited to see what they got up their sleeve, especially since I'm a big fan of card games. So we're just going to open this straight and see what we're looking at. So we got Kaboom. Oh, the artwork's pretty fun in this. Discount Cudgel. So as you can see, they're uh, keeping with their humor. 3,872 orcs. No more, no less. Franz. <laughs> the Walking Dreads. Glassjaw. Hydrax. Blandy McBlanderson. Hipstar. Spiky Bit. Nope. And Explodious Thumb. Now, let's take a quick look here at how the cards are set up. So, you have an X. You have a U, which I assume stands for Uncommon. You got some commons here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight commons. And we had two Uncommons. We have whatever an X means. And then we have an R for Rare. And that's going to be your uh, uh, your numbering for putting them in a binder and you know getting a good collection going. We got different icons, so we have monster or mischief. Um, and then we have a shopping cart for loot. We got information in most of the corners, the title, the info going on down here. See if the pack offers any information about the rarity going on here with the X. I am not positive. So this could be really cool, or it could be the sort of thing that's in every single pack. And, uh, yeah. These are pretty cool. I think I will be uh, picking up some more when the release gets a little bit wider. It's definitely interesting definitely keeps a lot of the humor and charm from the base game and uh yeah i'm looking forward to this so uh thanks to steve jackson games for tabling at emerald city comic con uh thanks for waving me over to pick up some of these and i look forward to what y'all are bringing to the table so i thank you the mewtwo's thank you and have a good one